So welcome back guys. I'm Kevin and we're back at Seth's because I'm trying to win this toe off. And a lot of people said that we weren't tying up at the right location. And uh, my buddy over at DSM Off-Road sent over these little mini six scale hitches. And like, I don't know if it's gonna make any difference. I'm probably not gonna permanently keep mine on there because it lowers the bottom of it. But for the towing purposes, everybody says that we're hooking up and not at equal place. That's gonna change because we now both have the receiver and where's the other piece? And this little tow hitch to hook to. So there's no way we're not hooked up as far as that way first. Um, so days when we're not working, Seth is so busy that I kind of just got to show up on him. So now that I got the hitch on, I'm actually doing the tire install because I have new tires because I mean, that's what I'm betting on. It's, it's not skill, it's not the weight. It's literally that my tires don't have traction. I'm getting drug and that's what I'm doing. So uh, let's install the stock tires, which I just never should cut. Big tip to you guys, don't cut your stock tires because Old Rich uh, underscore RC um, has got it figured out with his techs and all their research, and they have made the best choice on stock tires and not to alter them. I got the in-laws over here to watch the show. What do you guys think? You think I'm gonna whoop Seth this time with the new tires, or is he gonna whoop me again? It's gonna be a little bit closer this time, I think. Closer? Closer means I'm still gonna lose, <laughs> all right? I just heard that. You know, I dated a lawyer at one point, and you gotta pay attention to what people say so you can figure out where they're at. Uh, Oh, he's coming through. Are you ready? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah? Yo, put your body pins in. Let's do this. Hey, pitter patter, let's get at her. What's up, man? You want to go again? What reason do you have to believe that it's going to be any different this time? Because while you were working, I got new tires and foams because Rich, the designer, actually, I think that he had, uh, he thought that out. All right. So I don't think it's going to be any different. But... Yeah, I know any different. Yeah, no, well, look, different. Well, we actually, um, the other change that we made, what else did we do? We um, did some trailer hitching here. You can see mine hooked up with the chain there. Um, he did the same thing because people were saying that we uh, weren't hooked up at the same spot. Yeah, and now... Like now it's not even an option like we're here yeah that we have the same exact frame we have the same we have the same trailer hitch um yeah we have like legit receivers hooked up here and the same uh shackles yeah so pretty legit but, i mean it's scale i don't know if we'd ever actually really but use this we but... also have the same skills as last time mine being a little bit higher so well, you've got more years in that you know what i mean i feel like uh and tug of war is all skill you gotta keep it. You gotta keep the throttle steady. You can't be spinning out. Once you, yeah, I took physics class, so I know a little bit about you know friction and traction and yeah. Once it once it lets loose, it's a different it's a different story. But let's see how. But if goes. you never have it from the get, you know. Uh, well, okay. let's. Uh, you feel good? Chain tension. Yeah, I'm ready to go whenever. Okay, we're in there. Dude, how is this even happening? I don't get, I mean, we have the exact same setup now. Like. Just getting whooped again. Yo, I feel like we've got the same exact tires now and I don't get how you're, you're widening right, me up. Let's line them up again. Like, I don't understand how I'm not, how I'm wadding up. I mean, I have the stock right. foams and your tires are just, all right. All right, so we're gonna make it fair this time. So. I'm so, not sure which gear I'm in. I never, this is the only time I did this. What? This is the only time I did this. What did you do? Because I wanted, I'm playing a little joke on you, but what? I'm, not gonna I'm not gonna take it to the grave. Oh. too dishonest, but here, hold on. I, but you know what, I, man? No, it was only this time. You know what though, man? Because I know you changed your tires out. You know what, though? I really appreciate the fact that you did something to be shenanigans. <laughs> I was really heartbroken. Right, you ready? I was super you heartbroken. Ready? What do you have in here? Man, you've been canning on that brass nut. Look, this thing. Look, I just put a dent in the ground. Seth. Look, dude, backstory. This brass nut your dad gave, or no, your uncle, your dad gave you that? Like, My dad, you took like, it out of an elevator shaft. So how long have you been holding on to that thing? 
I've probably had that for about a decade. So, um, I'm I, still I, probably going to win this time, but I what? took the brass nut out. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious, dude. I was like, how is this even happening? Um, I know, because I was but, just pulling you around like you were a yeah. freaking rag doll. Yeah! <laughs> you you like punk. Or you punk. Um, but you know what? That was a really good usage of that brass nut. And, and it's uh, a little physics lesson. It was good. That was uh, that was hilarious. That was, I liked that a lot. I love how good it worked because I was just dragging you around like you were a freaking toy. I was. I it was, was it worse than before. Funny. Oh man, uh, that that was so good. I was so heartbroken, guys. That uh, I know the look on your face. You were like, what? What is going on? And what he's just it? just wrapping out. I'm like, what? But um, but now you know it could still happen. It could still. It's your fenders, inside front fender wells. Um, but um, I, you know, it could still have it. He could still drag me, but like that was that was terrible, terrible joke, Seth. But I really enjoyed it. Uh, I was heartbroken, and now I'm not as heartbroken. So let's pitter patter. Let's get back at her. When we're talking about this direct wire servo, right? I spent all this money on mine, and like mine works like pretty solid, right? And that's like a three hundred dollars for. $250 servo, direct wire battery and everything. And then this guy just direct wired his stock one. And uh, I would say they works just as good. How's that thumb working out? Oh, the thumb's nice. How, why did they not put that on the DX5? I don't know. That's, it's... It's weird that they didn't do that. Yeah. Okay, so let's line back up. Line up. Thanks for breaking my heart though. That was really, I felt good. I like the ups and downs. <laughs> All right. Now it's fair and square. Okay. I'm still getting dragged. I'm in the crack is what's all that's happening. I'm just gonna full gas it guys. I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game. I'm done with your shenanigans. I'm done with your shenanigans and your throttle. We're making a mess. Man, you know what, man? I really appreciate the camaraderie and the nut. The nut was solid. Um, so now that you got beat, are you going to um, try to make some changes and fight this back? I don't really. I, yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'll make some changes and fight back, but it might just be putting the nut inside the on top of the chassis. <laughs>